What is going on guys, my name is Jarrett, and today I am bringing you an updated guide to complete the infinite death machine glitch in Black Ops 3. It works on all maps, but today I'm sharing some of the easiest ones to access. In this video, we will go over multiple ways to achieve this glitch, including methods with and without gobblegums. All timestamps are in the description. This works on all platforms, including Xbox One, Xbox Series S and X, PlayStation 4 and 5, and PC. You will need two controllers available, or if you are on PC, you will use your mouse and keyboard as controller 1. Just hit the enter key instead of the A button. There are two parts to this glitch. Part 1 is setting up the class, and part 2 is performing the glitch in-game. Just be sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe to my channel. We're almost at a thousand subscribers, so your support means a hell of a lot. Before you can do this glitch in-game, you will need a gun with FMJ on it. Unfortunately, FMJ is not normally available in zombies, so we will have to glitch it. The first step is to completely disconnect your internet and launch Black Ops 3. Once the game loads up, press start, and then reconnect your internet. Press play online, and quickly press back and menu. After 10 to 15 seconds, your screen will flash, indicating that you have correctly completed this step. If you try this a few times and your screen still doesn't flash, delete cache data for the game. On console, this is stored as saved data, and there is a guide in the pinned comment to delete this on all platforms if you don't know how. Once your screen is flashed, Press start and select zombies. This is when you should connect your second controller as split screen. Using your second controller and select weapon kits. Maneuver to secondaries and select the bowie knife. On controller 1, press A, and then on controller 2, press B three times. Your screen should now look like this. Now on controller 2, press A, maneuver to secondaries, and once again select the bowie knife. And with controller 1, select the CUDA, create variant, and name it whatever you like. Apply the following attachments to your CUDA. Suppressor, laser sight, FMJ, extended mag, and rapid fire. Then save the variant and be sure to delete any other variants you may have for the CUDA. Next, just back all the way out with both controllers and restart your game. You are now ready for part two. The first method I will be showing you today uses a few mega gobble gums. The second method uses no gobble gums. Check the description for timestamps to jump between steps. The gobble gums that you will need for this glitch are Perkaholic, since you need double tap for higher rounds, Wall Power, and Fatal Contraption. Extra credit is also very useful, but not required. Now it is time to get started on the glitch. Start a game on Origins. Once you load in, turn on the first generator, and hit the Gobblegum Machine. Your goal is to get Perkaholic first, and if you are using extra credit, use the double points from the Soul Box along with it. Buy the RK5 and the Shiva off the wall to fill your Mule Kick slots, and head over to Generator 3. Get a wall power gobblegum and buy the CUDA, but be sure to trade your starter pistol for the CUDA. This is very important, so be sure your CUDA is in the first weapon slot. You will notice that your CUDA is very buggy and it does not shoot. This means that you have performed the glitch successfully. If you do need to put your CUDA away for any reason, simply throw a grenade to pull it back out. Now, all that's left is to get Fatal Contraption and pick up a Death Machine. Once the Death Machine runs out, it will continue to fire out of your CUDA. At this point, head down to the fire tunnel and sit in this spot. You can now rubber band your controller and AFK for as long as you need. Just don't forget to completely close the game instead of ending it when you're done, so that you can save the gobblegums you used. 
If you don't have the gobble gums required to do the glitch, you'll want to use the classic gobble gums sword flay and in plain sight. Just keep in mind for the gameplay I used Perkaholic since I didn't have too much time to record. The first thing you want to do is load up a game of Moon and get as many points as you can in Area 51. Once you teleport, buy the RK5 off the wall to fill your weapon slots, and take Tunnel 6 down to power. Buy the CUDA, and be sure to replace your starting pistol for the CUDA. This is very important, so make sure the CUDA is in your first weapon slot. Make sure you buy Double Tap, and I'd recommend buying the Bowie Knife, and then save up 10,000 points. Once you have 10,000 points, make your way back to Area 51, and our goal here is to pack a punch our CUDA, but keep it in our first weapon slot. So first, put your RK5 in the pack a punch machine, but don't grab it. Once it disappears, pack a punch your CUDA, but this time pick it back up. Throw a grenade to pull out your CUDA. Now head back to the moon and buy another wall weapon or box weapon and simply kill zombies until you get a death machine drop. Use a grenade to pull out your CUDA and pick up the death machine. Once the death machine runs out, it will continue to shoot from your weapon. Now all that's left to do is go back to area 51 and sit right here in the back corner and aim right at the pack-a-punch machine. You can now rubber band your controller and AFK as long as you want. Thank you so much for watching, I really hope this helped you to level up fast, and I really hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, I'll see you next time.